Hey everybody, welcome back. It's repentance. We're actually like getting our butt kicked, <laughs> but learning something in the process. Learning, and let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's Tainted Lazarus, huh? Okay, well, Tainted Lazarus to the lamb, at least. At least it's not... <laughs> at least... At least it's not any more complicated than that. Um, look, let's just get two game-winning items, and then you win the game two times, which allows you to win the game once as this character. It's a dream come true. Uh, I think we've learned a couple of things. One is, like, hey, dying to that champion fly because we took a, a fun deal with the devil item, that's life, it happens, and I, I, bop, bop, I do it again. However, uh, respect, respect the beast more than we've respected it. I think it's like, you know, when you get the, the true ending, when you get uh, alt path, you got a little bit of like an obligation to almost treat it like high ascension level slay the spire. You got to build your run to the boss you're going to go up against, you know? Whereas in uh, in Isaac, traditionally, you, you could get away with just sort of sending it, you know? Something that was good for uh, the goose was good for the gander. Now it's more like if you need HP, like you got to get the HP. Uh, if you're going up against the beast, you're going to need a lot of HP. If you're going up against mom... You know, maybe you say, I could trade some of this HP away for, like, 6 out of 10 deals with the devil, as opposed to only 8s and above, but they've done, a, they've done a really good job with the balance in this game. Now, I say that knowing we're playing as Tainted Lazarus, they did not do a good job with that. I apologize for, you know, being so forward. <laughs> but this character is just uh, doo-doo. That being said, we have made it through with this character before. Perhaps we can make it through with this character again. Looking for damage as A side or HP maybe as B side. Tears as B side. I don't think using your flip tactically is all that important. Like I, I really do think this run still just comes down to getting some good items. Tears will take his B side. And you know what? This is HP that probably B side will be able to use anyway. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. How am I doing? God, I'm, can I tell you? I'm doing really well, but there is a however there. And the however isn't that bad. Um, I, I slept, you know, pretty well. Maybe from like midnight to 7.30 a.m. Feeling, feeling nice. It, it does feel weird that like... I, I mean, it's still strange for me. I know this is like weird flex, but okay. It still feels a little strange to me when I wake up with a 7 as the first number. on the uh, And we're going to take the Spirit Heart as A side just to maximize our Devil Chance because we really can't afford to be throwing much away here. Um, it feels weird to wake up with a 7 because when I first started being a streamer, um, at least when I got back to North America, uh, I was jet lagged for the first couple of weeks. I was waking up with a 5 at the front, like 5 a.m. I got over that pretty quick. This could be our secret room. It is. We'll, we'll save our other one for the Tinted Rock. I will open this again because I think we can't afford to be too picky. Maybe we will flip the B-side. We got another bomb. Okay, so we could maybe look for our second secret room as well. Um, but that was that was a brief window, you know, in, into the 5 a.m. Uh, I woke up at, you know, 6.45 and not a minute earlier for... Uh, when I was in school, uh, at least when I was in high school. But then as a streamer, man, I was, you know, sometimes 11. Then I got a little more responsible and I was like, you know, maybe like 10. My God, he's threaded the needle. Now just do that five or six more times. He's actually doing it. What a world. Uh, and then like, I remember, and I, 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 you know, you might've been around for this to be honest with you. Sure, yeah, I think it's fine. No, no need to swap there. Uh, I We went to, like, Thanksgiving or Christmas at our in-laws' place in, like, 2017. So it's it's a substantial... I mean, it depends on your... If you want to, like, try to, uh, you know, compare drive sizes, which I know is a thing that... It, that's not a long drive in Texas. That's just what we call commuting to the local 4-H store. Okay, congrats. Your state is... Uh, covered in concrete. Like, I. by the way, I don't mean to take shots at Texas. It's just that whenever you try to talk about your experience, 
It always seems like one of the use universal truths about the internet is that someone from Texas will be like, Dad, that's nothing. Where I live is way worse than that. Except when you talk about, like, buying groceries, and then they go, what the? Three bucks for orange juice in Texas, you can get ten gallons of it for 75 cents. Like, it's just a constant... It, it might surprise you, like, if you live in Texas, okay? But people outside of, like, Texas are not... And, and th th to be fair, New York does this all the time, too, okay? I'll, 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 I'll give credit where credit is due. It's also a New York thing. But uh, people outside of those two states, especially if they don't even live in the United States, you know, every time they make a purchase, they don't say something like, Man, I wonder how much this would cost in Texas. Wow, I wonder what the traffic is like, you know, between Houston and El Paso right now. You know, we're, we're just living our lives trying to have shared experiences that we can relate to. That's nothing, man. You should have seen the traffic on I-21 yesterday. Boy, it'll make your head spin. I'm gonna peep this curse room real quick. But anyway, you know, it's a three-hour drive each way, and I remember, you know, to be fair, it's not my family. Like, they're my family by marriage, not by blood. Kate obviously has more of a connection to, you know, her sister that she grew up with and and so on. So I was kind of like trying to drop the signal like, I would like to leave a little earlier because we got a long drive back. I don't want to be like bleary eyed driving through, you know, I-5 at one in the morning. It's, it's just pure darkness. You end up, you know, falling asleep at the wheel like Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber. Um, but... This was the this nonverbal cue was not met with uh, assent, a s s e n t, and uh, as a result, I ended up driving bleary eyed through I five at like one a m. Uh, made it home safe, you know, not not taking any chances in that capacity. So just think, this is worth it. Totally, if only for precedent, this is worth it. Um, secret room is in a totally screwy location. I think we'll save our money for future use. I'm a big believer in a one-cost brimstone bomb. Makes every boss for the rest of the game easier. We'll check. This could be... Honestly, this could be big. Pop Empress. I think we lose the effect of it as soon as we beat this wave, but still. Uh, that, that judgment for a restock machine we could use on an item room, or even a devil room, for example, is quite interesting. Um, and I, I remember that when I got home, it was like 2 a.m., I went straight to bed. I woke up the next day at like 9, and then that just stayed my sleep schedule for like, I don't know, like until we had the baby. <laughs> it permanently like broke my ability to sleep in past 10 somehow, and I don't think I've slept in past 10 since then. Now I'm, I'm loving the 7.30, I gotta be honest, it feels like you got way more time to do stuff throughout the day. I'd sack like an hour of sleep that I, you know, can afford to sack, honestly just to make that happen. Okay, this is stinky, but I'm like, I'm actually switched on today, man. Look at this. Yeah, I woke up at 7.30, but I did, I, I woke up a couple of times in the night. Um, have you ever had a dream that you, uh, have you ever had, it, it's like an, I don't even know how to describe it. And it, it, it's not something that happens to me commonly, but I had like an itch not on my foot, but like in my foot. <laughs> if that makes sense. And I, so I would wake up, you know, and I'd be like, oh my God, my foot is so itchy. But when I tried to scratch it, like, it's like the scratch doesn't get to the itch because the itch, I really thought we could get those, was, and I don't mean to be gross because I don't think this is like, Disgusting, but the itch was kind of like below the skin It was it was almost like I was trying to scratch something that was like inaccessible Which is it you know a, a bit of a it's like a mild nightmare or something, but I, I Was definitely up for like 15 minutes trying to figure out how to how to scratch this itch But also not wake my wife up, but eventually I guess I just got over it it was, it was a weird feeling, for sure. I don't, maybe it was like, is that a sleep paralysis demon being mildly itchy? Probably not, huh? This one? Oh, right, we're not, uh, you know, the bomb ended up being fantastic. But uh, we're, we're not brimstone bomb characters, so just keep that in mind. That's a trinket that I, uh, I'm not interested in. 
I gotta say, like, we've, we've been playing a very solid game here so far. Doing things, you know, by the book. Not taking very much crappy damage at all. That could have been bad, but you know what? Hey, we got the bomb redeemed regardless. This... Y you need a little bit of luck, I think. That That is painful. Okay, that uh, literally... <laughs> can I tell you what I was going to say a mere seconds ago? Mm, okay. Uh, I was going to say we need a little bit of luck, perhaps like getting that 24% chance of the, of the devil deal. Uh, and then we lost it all on one room, which is... A little, a little much. No restock here. I, I really believe the restock on the Devil Deal allows you to be super aggressive and fish for what you're looking for. Which would really just be one character getting Brimstone Mom's Knife or enough damage upgrades that they're fine. And then just trying to find a way to maybe maximize the amount of flips we can do and survive some rooms as the other character. We still do have an 11% chance of a devil deal. It's not horrible. It's, it's not good, but it's not horrible. But I do, I, I like the, the 7 a.m. wake-ups. Like, I, I, I know it seems like, oh! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take this on the weak character. I, I actually think that that's the play here. I, I thought about it for, for a, a more than a second. Just take both spirit hearts, you know. I don't, I don't think we need to get too finicky about it just yet. This is, this is some very solid stuff. Obviously, Tech X is, is different now. It's still, it's not as good, but it's still really good. Um, you need to get it to full charge to do max damage. So, like spamming shots is not as valuable as it used to be. But I'm, I'm loving those morning wake ups, to be honest. I never believed uh, my parents when they were like, you know, you. I mean, I, I hate to, I hate to knock the. What, what a great pill, by the way. The the night owls, because there was a, a large, like, you know, more than a decade and a half period in my life where I was a night owl. But one of the reasons I was a night owl is just because, like, I was bored. <laughs> And it almost, it feels weird to go to bed if you're bored, because it's like, you're, you're basically putting like a period at the end of an unacceptable sentence, right? Like you're, you're looking at your day and you're going like, well, I guess I'll go to bed. I think you're like, ah, I can't go to bed until I've like done something that feels like at least entertaining, if not fulfilling or exciting. So mostly when my parents are like, one day you're gonna, you know, wake up at 6 a.m. and you're gonna like it. I was like, that's ridiculous. I'll always have, you know, nothing to do because I'm 16 and live in the suburbs and stay up till 4 a.m. watching Major Pain starring Damon Wayans. Like, of course. Why, why wouldn't I? Now I'm like, I, I gotta... Again, I'm, oh, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. But like, it's... I, I got a lot of stuff to do. Whether or not you take that as busy is up to you. Waking up early in the morning so I can actually guarantee myself a reasonable sleep feels feels mighty nice. I um I mean this is a great item. I'm actually gonna flip and I you know I'm a I'm a believer that this flip could be good for us. And I, I like being both characters right now. We really, you know, on a floor where we have a two-thirds chance of a devil deal, this time we wanna be B-side when we go into the devil deal. If we can make that happen, then I think it's very, very likely we could get a devil deal that appeals to us mightily. Uh, that's... Uh, screw you, basically. Basically, screw you. Spirit Hearts, maybe? Um, I think we gotta try one. That'll leave us on one and a half HP. That's literally, like, probably as good as it possibly could have gone. <laughs> By the way, you might be like, look at how lucky he's getting. Yeah, that's like literally what has to happen for you to have a chance to win. So obviously there's also like s still some risk here. 
But like, if you want to win a run as Tainted Lazarus, I think you you basically just have to have something along these lines come to pass. And we really like the the next thing for us. We, we've we've swapped one large problem for a small problem. The large problem is how on earth are we ever going to uh, win this run? Now the win, like we have enough damage, we have enough items. I think we're on path for it, right? The new problem is how do we get HP for B-side? And the answer, I think, is we just find a shop, which is exactly what just happened. Um, and then the shop has no greed. And we buy a Spirit Heart, and we're actually feeling, like, pretty amazing, honestly, I think. Still a little spiced, for sure. Because, uh, you know, two Spirit Hearts is not a whole lot in the whole scheme of things, but we got a lot of game left here. We may want to... Um, I, I think we got to plan our, our, our flips appropriately here. We, we, especially because we have Curse of the Blind. We want to be B-side when the boss dies for a couple of reasons. This allows us... You know what? For a bomb, I'm, I'm into that. If we're B-side when the boss... If we're B-side after the boss dies, we pick up the boss item, it could be an HP upgrade that's worth a lot for us. It also means we could save a flip and then use it to walk into the deal with the devil as a side who has some hp to spare and might be able to take a deal whether or not we consider that worth it i don't know you can always tell the the isaac episodes where i played slay the spire first like i'm so i'm, I'm feeling so analytical right now compared to the norm for myself uh i think we also want to be B-side when we go... Ah, you son of a... I think we want to be B-side when we go into the item room. What did that invincibility come from? <laughs> the, was there a trinket associated? I don't know. Okay, so let's... Um, I mean... No, let's not. Uh, I was going to say let's go fight the boss, but I don't want to have to backtrack. It's, it's a little lazy, but... That was that could have gone terribly wrong. Lucky us. That allows us to buy an item from the shop. I know we still have the restock machine. For B side. That's fantastic. That's actually beautiful. Now even I, even though it's tainted Lazarus, even I'm getting a little bit like, okay, game, come on. You're now you're make you're just handing it to me. So we could flip here if we have to flip. I mean, we, we're not going to know because we don't know what's in the item room. So what we should do, in my opinion, is do one room. You can't get any luckier than that, essentially. Uh, take this. Flat stone. Okay, so that is irrelevant. It looks cool, though. You got to admit, it does, it does look a little neat. And I think we'll not sweat a deal with the devil here in the slightest. We'll probably get it. I think it's best to just ignore it. Because it's going to be Curse of the Blind. Um, we're just looking for second secret rooms. You never know. That is the kind of stuff that can really bridge the gap for you. Not that time, but we, we got a lot of bombs. I think we're going to flip... This way... Um, I mean, you can see for yourself how quickly the fight's going well. Um, we'll flip and then just take the blind boss item with B-side. It was not HP, but that's insanely good. And very good for a character that has Incubus. <laughs> and then we'll leave. Uh, and we're really just getting unbelievably lucky, but also just unbelievably happy. You, you love to see it. Like, this is, this is the kind of tainted Lazarus run, like, you dream about. Right, not both characters can fly. That's that's going to be something that's getting that we got some getting used to.
Anyway, I know a lot of my anecdotes are related to waking up uh, early now. Um, the only thing I can really say in my own defense is that, you know, again, with the baby, there's not that much stuff going on right now. Um, except for, like, waking up and going to the grocery store and then, like, cooking some food. And, uh... I'm not sure, like, how interested you, you might be in the grocery store anecdotes. Because very rarely these days, um, you know, I mean, you, you do, I'm, I'm sure we're going to see some insanity at the grocery store, you know, in the near future. Um, maybe that was a great uh, reroll opportunity, by the way. I'll, I'll, I'll take the L on that one. Oh, dude, Stars is so good, though. Nemesis voice? Stars! <laughs> you know. I haven't played Resident Evil 3. I'm just trying to keep up with the gamer memes. Um, are we free? We're free. And I mean, I can regale you with what I cooked last night, but it's just going to make you mad because, like, I used the air fryer. But can I tell you, like, I... Again, I don't talk about the air fryer as if, like, oh, you got to get one and it'll change your life. Like, if you don't want to get one, that's fine. It really just is, like, 90% of my personality uh, right now. That's another reroll machine potential, but I got to feel like it's not as high value as, like, using it on a devil deal, man. Like, I think it's going to be so sick. Potentially. I mean, everything in this game is, you know, the odds. But, uh, I mean, last night... Literally, the meal that I cooked took less than 20 minutes as a result of the air fryer. And that, that's special to me. So I bring it up to you. Less as like, oh, you got to get this. You can be part of the cool club. And more like the same way I bring up, you know, if you like the taste of cold brew, one of the best like productivity hacks that I have. I know people are, you know, allergic to the, the phrasing to begin with, but... One of the best productivity hacks I have is just, you know, make cold brew and then for basically less time than it takes. Screw you. Um, to make hot coffee, you can make... I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. You can make cold coffee and then not have to wait for it to cool in the morning, thus guaranteeing you your fix that much faster. I, I stand by it as a as a very reasonable approach, but anyway, I'm getting I'm getting lost in the sauce here. I don't think triple shot. I mean, maybe triple shot works on either character, but it's I don't know. I'm just not completely sold on it yet. When we're probably only going to be able to buy one more item. So I, I don't think I made my point there clearly enough. Okay, let let me try again. Uh, my thinking with cold brew is it takes like five minutes to make a pot of cold brew concentrate I'd like to get to 23 cents if possible but give me one of these uh, and then you get cold brew for like five days seven days whatever it depends on your consumption rate and uh, you know you, you get your cup of coffee in the morning without requiring waiting for it to cool down and you know you might I, I think it creates a false dilemma people are like oh but then you have to drink cold coffee Bro, cold brew is like, it's the wave right now. It has been for like half a decade, but it's definitely the wave right now. Like, if you're if you're drinking hot coffee, it's like, okay, boomer. <laughs> coffee should be hot. That's what you sound like right now. That's what you sound like right now, man. Oh, man. Uh, I'll level with you. I think that's, that's not worth the reroll machine. Let's do some exploration. But similarly, like, so what did I do in the air fryer last night? Well, I thought you'd never ask. Thank you so much. Um, check this out. You're going to drop this so that the other character, the A side, can grab this coming back. I got some, uh, some beef kebabs from the grocery store. So admittedly, there's a little cheating going on here already. It's already like a, a, a prepared food to some extent. Um, you, ju you just have to cook it which I guess describes a lot of foods that you get at the grocery store. But these are like, I didn't marinate the beef cubes myself, so sue me, Marco Pierre White. Um, sometimes convenience, and also, hey, not only convenience, but also I trust the grocery store 
to know how to marinate the kebabs better than me. I don't, I, people are always so negative about store-bought things. They're like, yeah, I know the bakery bakes things for like a living. That's like their passion in life. It's like the number one thing that they're good at and they've dedicated their existence to. But I just feel like the first time that I make bread, it's probably going to be better than what the bakery has been perfecting and honing their entire life. You know, people have a, a, a noted overconfidence bias, no doubt about it. There's advantages you get, like the fresh baked bread, you can't beat the smell. And you're also very rarely, you know, pulling loaves out of the oven at the bakery and then immediately eating them right there. But the, apart from that, I'm like, you know, I, I, there's, there's some hubris associated, I think. But regardless, I got that and I literally, I got a head of broccoli and four beef skewers. 350 degrees in the air fryer for the head of broccoli, some olive oil, some garlic salt, crispy, healthy, looks nice. Beef kebabs, you know, you just cook them till they're done. I know that's Peepo G, but you know, you just put them in the pan, you turn them every, you know, minute. You get a sense for it after a while. I'm not here to do your job for you. Uh, this does play in the conjoined. I think I'd rather work towards, I, I mean, we might be one step closer as uh, B-side, but I'd rather work towards conjoined with Tech X. I think that coverage is going to be better. And literally, I mean, you go from no dinner to like a nice dinner and, and a reasonably healthy dinner, you know, with, with some basically baked broccoli as a side in like less than 15 minutes from, from fridge to plate, like... I'm not saying it's it's the highest order cuisine you could possibly have, but that that's mighty quick. Now, could you do that without an air fryer? Probably. Would the broccoli taste as good? I certainly think it's possible, but I also I, I stack up. You know, I would put my broccoli up against your broccoli. Quite frankly, I would. I have I have confidence in it. Well, um, we're kind of whiffing on this. The run is still fantastic. I'm willing to use a bomb to try to see if, well, you know, 5% extra devil deal. I think that this is the floor. We don't need the fool. Uh, I think this is the floor where that judgment is going to finally take off to the moon. Eddie room is really tough to play with Tainted Lazarus. I mean, you'd think because you have two health bars, it'd be a little easier. But, you know, the HP is <laughs> a serious premium. So, um, I'm... I'm in a dangerous uh, position there. Okay, I, I, why am I not just doing this? Okay, there you go. Smarten up. World card. Well, oh, this is a gimme. Uh, you know what? It's not a gimme, actually, because we, we're going to use Alge's right here. And then we can actually... Oh, what the heck, man? I mean, we can hold it. And we want money for our reroll machine in the future. Well, uh... It's less than I wanted. I guess we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna go for it. Um, we have a flip available. Yeah, so if we get a deal with the devil, we're probably gonna flip from A side to B side. That way we can get the judgment. You know what? Actually, we don't have to do that. But we gotta think... We gotta use our noggin for a second here. The other thing we could do is just flip right now to make this fight a little easier. <laughs> He's looking pretty reasonable. <laughs> Just stay moving. Hold control. Great stuff. Okay, so we want that judgment card on the ground. So that we can use it with whoever gets a deal with the devil if there's a deal. Oh my god, dude. It's okay. This is as bad as it's going to be for a bit. We didn't get a deal, which blows. Um, this is a gimme, though. You know you want the negative, because we're going to the lamb. I, I mean, I, I hate to say it, man. I think you flip just to take this back. And I know we've been holding this for way too long. But we have a 100% chance of the deal here. We can't even use the world card on this floor. I'm being Omega trolled right now. The troll is in. I, there's creep on the ground. You piece. 
That's an incredible, actual incredible trinket. I would like to stress, I still think this is a, an actual, not even a 9 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10 tainted Lazarus run. You, you basically can't engineer a run that gets more goods than this. I I in in if oh, yeah that's make sure you take it as the right character. We got lucky there that we did. I mean I I can create scenarios in my head where sure like oh well we just get you know magic skin and then uh, R key and then we follow it up with the uh, I don't even know I was gonna say Genesis but then I'm like Genesis seems scary man. I, I love it, don't get me wrong, but with, with two characters, it just seems a little a little spiced. But both of our uh, A-side and B-side here have, have so much damage. Almost as much damage as, like, an air fryer has uh, done to my personality. <laughs> See, there you go. I was trying to figure out how to phrase it. I got there. I, I feel like... I uh, dude, we got synergies, accidental synergies, because then, now that we've done that, we just flip by natural causes, and then we can pick up the money. You know what? Do that. I don't want to lose the bone heart here, but then you can flip as we as we just did. Create spirit hearts. Create spirit hearts. Okay. Offense highly taken. Highly taken. Unidentified pills. That's a verped. I found pills. Incredible. But a luck up. All right. All right. This is probably our secret room. There could be a lot of money in there. Which is a lot of spirit hearts. Which is one spirit heart. Uh, half spirit heart, I might add. But, this half spirit heart, I might add, at least protects this bone heart. Yahoo. Yahoo! Dead ends. Hey, creep, creep, watch out for creep. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I, I took the mouth pill there. Um... Dude, I gotta tell you, I was looking the other day. So I've been talking with Apollo about how there's a game drought, right? I Again, I, I don't... Uh, I'm not mad at game devs for the fact that the, the games are not, you know, in an incredible state in 2021. It seems to be a very understandable uh, phenomenon based on, you know, what we've gone through in 2021 and, you know, 2020 obviously before it as well. Uh... But I, I think it's unproductive to be like, well, you just gotta dig a little deeper. Because I think there's, you know, some truth to that. Um, but also definitely some truth to the idea that, like, there's just been a little bit lower, you know, releases this year um, that have really brought the house down. I don't think the quality of games is worse. I just think there's there's been less... There's been productivity issues as a result they've induced by the pandemic, probably. Um... But I was, I, it really put it into perspective for me when I went to like Metacritic, and I know Metacritic lol, Metacritic lol. But I, I went to Metacritic to see like what the top games were of 2021 were to see if maybe I had, you know, missed something. Maybe, maybe there's some games out there. And I, I think I have, by the way. Like I, I never, I didn't play Chicory, which, which people say is very good. Um, but apart from that, like in the top 10, it was literally just like 20 re releases. <laughs> I think we're, this is exactly how we want to do this. Just get it set up like that so that we got something back there. Then we're going to finish this wave. We don't have any brimstone bombs, which is highly unfortunate. Beautiful shooting, though. Not today. Finish this wave. Don't shoot me, please. We'll be B-side. Get a deal with the devil. I don't think... Speed is fairly irrelevant here. 
But this finally allows us to use our judgment. And this is a great opportunity because this room is stinky uh, thus far. So let, let's get that restock machine out there. And we, we should go deep on this one. Although, I mean, there's something to be said. There's something to be said about Twisted Pair maybe giving us conjoined. But I think we've almost got a fish for Guppy. Or at least something that also gives us HP. I, we, Damocles is just too dangerous. Uh, like, we're not fishing for something good. We've been waiting long enough. We're actually... I was going to say fishing for, like, a run winner. Obviously, that isn't how that worked out, unfortunately. Um, but we did get Mark, and Mark is awesome. And we'll grab these. I I, I think that was totally fine. It, it was a lot... <laughs> a lot of pomp and circumstance to not really get that much out of it. But I still think that's pretty okay honestly I, I think that's okay but i was looking at the top 10 releases list and it was like no disrespect to any of these games it's not that they're necessarily bad by any stretch of the imagination it's just that i wouldn't maybe we'll take that as the other character for the cost of a key i just wouldn't describe them you know as new oh if only we got a oh never mind that's pretty good um like, the top results for 2021 were, like, Hades. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club re-release. Not gonna play it, and it's not an insult. It's just because I literally played the base game, like, you know, a year ago. Final Fantasy VII Remake DLC, I think. Streets of Rage 4 Resident Evil 3 DLC. There's like a just a, a a lot of you know like older games remasters and uh, stuff that is just I mean certainly I would describe it as not a great fit for the stream but that's I we I think we've we've done a great job in in 2021 of pivoting to some stuff that you know plays to our strengths as a content creator that isn't necessarily gated by the false gaming dilemma. You know, tier lists, react court, stuff along those lines, I think, has been uh, stuff in, up to and including those two things that I mentioned. It's been a fun year for streaming. Crossword puzzles? I forgot about crossword puzzles, man. It's been a great time. I will say I'm happy, like, uh, Apollo, and this, I don't take an insult here, by the way, but Apollo's trying to cyber bully me into opening Pokemon cards on stream. I've, I've entered the card mania at, at times in the past. Uh, you know, I've got several thousand magic cards. I got, I got super excited, actually. Uh, let's try a reroll here. We know this? Unidentified pill, really. Okay, I mean, it's not that bad. I got super excited um, knowing that there was like a collectible boon happening right now. Or boom, I should say. Um, you know, Pokemon cards, NFTs, NBA Top Shot, stuff like that. Like, the, people are going crazy. Uh, sneakers, I guess, the, I don't know whether you consider that fashion or collectibles is up to you. But, you know, there, there's a real like fervor surrounding that stuff. So I looked up like all the magic cards that I had that, you know, I, I looked up the, the greatest hits. The ones that, when I unboxed them, I was like, oh, just put that in, like, a top loader, double-sleeved, and, uh, you know, come back in five to ten years. I'm not saying it's gonna, like, you know, pay for a down payment on a house, but I think it'll be a decent investment. Uh, and then realizing that, in the best-case scenario, like, they're roughly worth what they were when they were unboxed. <laughs> and in the worst case, it, like... There's, there's entire Magic the Gathering sets that are essentially worth what, like, what we thought one of the cards was worth when we unboxed it. Like, I was so sad. I, I, I'm not in the Magic anymore, so I, I, I just hope this, is, this uh, tracks and is actually a coherent sentence. But we bought so much product for, like, Shatters, Shadows over Innistrad in... Uh, it was probably like 2016 when that came out. Uh, and we got some great pulls. Like from pre-release... This sucks, by the way. From pre-release, we got a, a foil 
Archangel Avacyn, which was widely considered pre-release to be like one of the strongest cards that was uh, in the set. So that was definitely... We, we may run into trouble here, by the way. That was one of the, the cards that I made sure to look up. Because I was like, well, surely that Archangel Avacyn is like, is, is popping off though, right? And it's worth like $6. <laughs> the Hero Fund. Where? Oh, over here. Hey, lucky us. Thank you. Thank you, mod. Uh, and you know what? I think we will open this as well. We might just flip and then... Well, pick this up first, I was going to say, because it could give you a spirit heart. Resin, resin, resin. Okay, get over yourself. Was it resin? Yeah. Was it sick? Yeah. Owns? Hmm, pills? We should know what, like, all these do by now. Nope. Screw you. You know what, though? You, you still blow this up, and then you pick it up as your, as your B-side. For all the negative damage we've taken here, I, all I can really say is that it's already confusing to, like, switch A-side, B-side constantly. But then, on top of that, to have, uh, you know, one character fly, the other one not fly, and then run into enemies that have creep is, is annoying. But I'm happy to have the flying on one character, don't get me wrong. Uh, so, yeah, apparently, the, the... I mean, magic's still expensive, I'm sure standard... Modern legacy stuff, it, it, you know, is still expensive, but, you know, the cards that were popular in standard because they formed the meta deck and then rotate out of standard but are quite good enough to be played in, like, the average top-tier modern deck, like, obviously the economy kind of falls apart. <clears throat> I, I was hoping that, that maybe, you know, the, the full art expeditions from Battle for Zendikar would be... You know, really up there, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I, you know, some of them are worth in the hundreds of dollars for sure, but the expected value of getting one, you know, it took like hundreds of dollars of product to get one in the first place as well. So, <laughs> anyway, but I, I, I have been, you know, card uh, hungry in the past. I just don't feel it right now. You know, it's. It's a hobby, and, and I'm into other stuff at the time being, and, and Pokemon in particular. I mean, I don't want to, like, try to spread fear and uncertainty and doubt about your uh, your hobby, right? If, like, this is what you're into. But I also... <clears throat> I will never play the Pokemon card game, like, in person. Because I'd have to learn how to play it, for one. I have very little connection to, like, later Pokemon generations. Uh, and I mean later as in, like, not in the original 150, which is... I'm not trying to be a, a so-called Gen 1-er. Just keep him. I'm not saying, like, it was better back then. I was just younger back then. And the concept of a Gen 1-er didn't exist when I was a kid because there was only one Gen. It's just, you know, it's just a product of, like, when I grew up, essentially. I was moving on to other stuff by the time Silver and Gold came out. I was moving on to Silver and Cold by AFI. You and Samba Resplendent, I hunt! Let me check the time. 9.56 a.m.? I could do that bit. My wife is awake. <laughs> and I'm also going to hit you with the other part of this that is really going to irritate you if you love Pokemon cards, but it's just one man's opinion, and it's one man who knows nothing about art. I think that the, they, they look a little tacky, but, you know, that doesn't really matter if, if people are, you know, pogging their gourds up over them. Uh, okay. I mean, Brimstone Tech X is, is nice, but you got the HP base to definitely do this. Thank you so much, Eddie, for the brimstone get. Ooh. Don't walk into these. Although, no, our luck is kind of bad. I, I, I'll admit I've taken some dumb damage on this run. Ooh, I, I, we don't take that as you, probably. I think despite being relatively low on HP, your brimstone min means, especially with Incubus, that you're going to live easily. Let's just make sure that A-side... Who would have thought Tech X would be, like, the weaker side, right? Who would have thought we would have won this run to begin with? <laughs> it's really, uh... We gotta flip, man. We It's 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 going all... Now it's like I'm, I'm sunk. Like, I got a sunk cost fallacy going here. I'm like, I can't flip. Half of them are already dead. 
This is what I get for saying who would have thought we'd win this run before the run was over. Thank you, thank you so much. We will go back for this, Spirit Heart. Beauty, beauty. Ooh. <laughs> we should be using Flip more. Like, that's why I say that this run... This is not flip worthy. Like this, a single enemy like this should be pretty simple. Um, but that's what I mean when I say like this run just came down to getting good items. Because we didn't really play like a super tactical tainted Lazarus game. We did some interesting stuff. Like you know, we we did use Brimstone or use use that tainted Judgment card in in an in, in an interesting fashion. I am I'm concerned about what happens if we die and come back as Blue Baby. I'm assuming that that means that Blue Baby will inherit all of B side's items and A side's items will fall away, which is actually totally fine with me. Like doesn't really bother me, but obviously there's always the chance that it it gets a little funkier than that, which I would prefer not to see quite frankly. Are you kidding me? Don't... Uh, take it, take it, take it. Now, do we just go for that dub? Yeah, I think so. So I think we gotta fight until you're one hit away from death. Then we flip. Oh my god. Farting baby saved us, which allows us to do a little bit more damage output. So get ready. You're going to flip as soon as you get hit one more time. Botfly, thank you so much. Aren't you supposed to break at some point? <laughs> Whoa. Careful. Careful now is carefree later. Careful now is carefree later. That's a touchy dodge. I, I feel very lucky about that. Whoa! <laughs> you gotta stand on the cardinals there. No. Just be dead. You're dead. Just be dead. Thank you. Okay. Victory lap? No thanks. That's okay. I just... I wouldn't want to embarrass you any more than I already have. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya!